The FFS2000 is a fusion splicing workstation which can perform low loss and high strength splicing quickly and efficiently. This video will discuss the parameters that control a simple splice and how to carry out a splice. For repeatable results, it is important that the filament be normalised first. During a typical splice, the tips of the fibres are aligned and move close to one another. Heat is then applied and the molten glass of the right fibre is pushed into the molten glass of the left fibre, forming the splice. Splice files for typical filament types and fibre diameters are pre-installed on the computer that ships with the unit. The parameters for a specific splice file can be viewed by going to the splice menu and selecting splice properties. Pre-gap Pre-push, hot push, push velocity, hot push delay determine the timing and movements of the fibres and filament during the splice. Argon is the flow rate in litres per minute that argon will flow into the filament body during the splice. This provides an inert environment that prevents filament oxidation and also helps to keep the fibres clean during the splice. During a typical splice, heat is applied to the fibres symmetrically. However, for splices between fibres of different types, diameters or structures, it may be necessary to move the filament slightly to one side, so that more heat is applied to one fibre than the other. Splice offset allows the user to set that distance in microns. Positive distances are to the right. On duration is the time in seconds the filament stays on after the hot push delay time. Power is the nominal electrical power of the filament. Because the thermal response of the filament changes over its life, a filament power offset that is determined and set by the normalisation procedure is added to this nominal value by the software. Fire polishing is a process where the filament remains on after the splice and the splice head moves back and forth on either side of the splice region. In some cases, this can increase the strength of the splice and decrease the loss. Multi-stage splicing can be used to carry out a sequence of different splice steps, for example, incorporating incremental levels of heat application or cool-down periods. Most splicing can be performed without using this option. However, if you require more information about multi-stage splicing, please contact us. To carry out a splice, first ensure you have two stripped, cleaned and cleaved fibres loaded into the left and right-hand sides of the splice station. To produce high performance splices that have low loss and high proof strength, it is vital that the fibres are loaded and unloaded at the splice station correctly using the transfer jig. If you have not yet watched the video about how to do this, click on the annotation or see the link in the description below to learn more about this. Before splicing, ensure that there are two fibres on screen pointing at each other and roughly in focus. If not, Check that the fibres are located correctly and check for debris in the V-grooves. The individual controls in the software can be used to perform a splice manually. Click the Engage Motors icon to pull the fibre tips apart slightly. Then select Front View and align the right fibre to the one on the left. Then, in Back View, make sure the left fibre is in focus. Align the left fibre to the right fibre. Now gap the fibres and align them once again. Switch to front view. Make sure the right fibre is in focus and align the fibres. Now both fibres should be on the fibre line and in good focus in both the front and back views. Now return to back view and align one final time. It is normal for the screen to go dark while switching views. Click the splice only button to execute the splice process. The right fibre holding block will then step forward by the pre-push distance. The splice head will then move to the right to the splice position which will position the filament at the tips of the fibres. The argon rate will also increase from the background flow rate to the splice flow rate. The filament will rise to its operating temperature 
and after the hot push delay time, the right fibre holding block will move forward by the hot push distance. At this point, the splice is formed. After the splice has completed, if fire polish is enabled, the splice head will travel back and forth applying heat to either side of the splice. The filament will then switch off, the splice head will move to the left to return to the view position and the argon flow rate will return to the background level. The splice can then be inspected in either the back or the front view.